Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, we will be looking into four important topics. First one, the five fundamentals of electronic industry are L, C, V and I. What are those we will be discussing. Second point, why these five elements are important for you to know. Third point, how these five elements are impactful in electronic industry. Last but not least, we will be looking into applied engineering of these concepts. So let's start. The five fundamental elements of electronic industry. R stands for resistor, L stands for inductor, C stands for capacitor, V stands for voltage, be it a AC voltage or a DC voltage, and I stands for current. Now let's talk about their definition. So what is resistor? Resistor is an electronic passive component which helps to reduce or control or divide the current flow in the electronic circuit. Of course, it is essential for dividing the voltage or flow of current control. The SI unit of this resistor is ohms. Based on the value of this resistor, we will be adding a prefix to it like kilo ohms or milli ohms. Inductor is an electronic passive component which is capable of storing electrical energy in the form of magnetic energy, which is very helpful in special applications like power supply designs and so many other applications where we will be using electromagnetic force for controlling something. The SI unit for this particular component is Henry. Based on the value of this particular component, we will be adding micro Henry, milli Henry or maybe a normal Henry value in, in electronic component. Capacitor is an electronic component which is again a passive component which is helpful for storing electrical energy in the form of electric charge. Of course, this is very helpful and very essential component in every electronic circuit. The SI unit of capacitor is a farad. Based on its value, we will be adding a prefix to it that is microfarad or millifarad. Now let's talk about what is voltage. Voltage is a potential difference between any two point in electronic circuit. Say for example, if you want to measure a voltage between this point and this point, assuming that there is an electronic circuit in between, then what is the potential difference between these two point is nothing but a voltage. And the SI unit for this voltage is volt. Based on the value, again we will be adding a prefix to it like millivolt or maybe a normal volt in most of the electronic circuit. What is current? Current is a rate at which electrons flows from one point to another point in electronic circuit. As I already explained for voltage, the difference between one point to another point as a potential difference is a voltage wherein the rate at which electrons flows from one point to another point is a current. Here there is a one important point that is the circuit must be closed. If you are having a battery here and one resistor with one LED but you are not connecting the negative point of LED to your battery's negative point then there is no flow of electrons but there is a still voltage available in the battery. In that case potential difference is equal to the battery voltage wherein the rate at which current flows is nothing because circuit is not closed. That's how the current is measured or current is defined in electronic industry. And SI unit for this current is ampere. Based on the value, we will be adding milliampere and microampere prefix to these values. Now let's talk about why these five elements are necessary for us to know about. First one, every electronic circuit is made up of these five elements. Consider at a smaller scale or a larger scale. If you are considering a very big application like a laptop or maybe a mobile phone or maybe a camera or any digital device, it is completely made up of these five elements. And if you consider very simple circuit of turning on LED on 
using a battery then also it is made up of these five elements so it is very essential to know that these five elements are the fundamental of every electronic circuit for example how our human body is made up of pancha mahabhutas the same way every electronic circuits are made up of these five elements that's why these are also called five elements of the electronic circuit which is nothing but pancha mahabhutas of electronic industry sounds crazy right but that's amazing second important point is with the help of resistor and capacitor we can create a timing pulse for any electronic circuit for example if you want to blink an led with the one second delay in between on that time of course you can use a microcontroller or a smart device or a programming devices to do that application however you can do it by using resistor capacitor and couple of transistor by the way of setting the resistance value and capacitor value you can control the on period and off period which is nothing but controlling the timing of blinking of that led so it is essential for us to understand resistor and capacitor very interestingly or very fundamentally for developing any electronic circuit third important reason why these five elements are important for us is the inductors are widely used in power supply design and also for electromagnetic applications like relays if you want to use any electromechanical devices or where you want to use a mechanical switching by the inductance principle nothing but a relays then you must understand how this relay works and for that you must understand how inductance work and not to mention in most of the power supplies considering uh, adapter which we use for charging our devices from that range to any electronic devices are having a power supply and those power supplies are having a inductor as common because inductance is very essential for converting one level of voltage to the another level of voltage that's why it is important for us to understand these five elements fourth important point is as we all know that every electronic circuit come live by applying voltage and current to them without voltage and current they are a dead circuit it is like how we have a prana and vayu in our body the same way we need to have voltage and current in electronic circuit the rate at which we breathe is our vayu wherein we are living inside that is our prana the same way current and voltage can be related to electronic circuit without applying current and a voltage a proper voltage to the electronic circuit circuit will not come into action and if the circuit doesn't come into action then it will not perform the action it is designed for now let us talk about how these five elements are impactful in electronic industry first of all we must understand these information to the core of them say for example if you are building any application having a fundamental knowledge about these five elements are very essential whatever design you are going to do in electronic circuits it is all revolving around these five elements second thing is each and every electronic circuits are having leds which are so called status leds to calculate the resistance for these status led it requires a different approach it is not as simple as you think by using a ohms law of course it is a right way but there is a different approach for calculating a resistance value for these leds if you understand how to calculate values for resistor capacitor and inductor i think you have understood the fundamentals of electronic industry thereby you can build any application third important point is if you are designing any dc power supply or dc to dc converters or maybe a led driver for that matter then understanding the capacitance value and inductance value calculation process plays a vital role to be frank i have not understood inductance to the depth of its knowledge even after 5 years of industry experience because it is complicated and it requires a special domain knowledge and involvement in a hardware design activity last but not least if you are a diy creator and if you are interfacing any diy modules to your microcontroller development board then understanding the voltage rating current rating minimum value maximum value plays an important role how many times we burned so many modules without knowing their maximum voltage and maximum current right so understanding the voltage and current concepts in electronic industry plays an important role and it is essential for you 
This is how these five elements impact the entire electronic industry in a smaller scale to the largest of its own industry. Now let us talk about what is the application or applied engineering for this knowledge. Of course, you must have application or applied knowledge for this entire concept that you are learning, right? So first of all, if you understand the electronic industry in a macro or micro context, the every electronic hardware or understanding every electronic hardware is fundamentally based on these five elements. So if you understand these five elements in a proper way, as I already said, you can crack the understanding of any big circuit. As I already said, it requires a hardware design engineering knowledge and also a certain background activity for understanding the circuit in a complex way. But these five elements will help you to start or begin with the understanding of complex circuit design. Second important point is, let us assume that you are creating any DIY project or maybe a simple power supply or if you consider any project for your college or if you are designing a full-fledged industrial automation system. No matter at what scale you are working at, these five elements are going to play a vital role. Probably in our college and all, not inductors are being so important role, but in industry, they are very important. If you are designing LED drivers or power supplies, then inductors are going to play a very vital role. And because of a small change in the inductance value, your entire output curve will change. So, as I said, if you know these five elements, then you can perform much better while designing any power supply, LED drivers or small circuits for your DIY projects. Now let us consider one small example to give you how exactly these concepts work. Consider we will be having a one battery source which is having a 12 voltage and you will be having a one sensor which is connected to some mechanical system which will activate when there is actuation from the system. And whenever the mechanical switch turns on, it will give you a contact to this battery, which is nothing but a 12 volt. And you have a development board or a microcontroller which works at 3 voltage or 3.3 voltage or maybe a 5 volt VCC. And you want to sense the position of this particular sensor which is connected or not connected or any activity detected on that sensor which is giving you 12 volt. If there is no activity then it will give you a zero voltage. If you want to detect that particular signal with your microcontroller which is working at much lower voltage than that particular sensor then of course you cannot connect that output of the sensor to your microcontroller directly or maybe a development board. Because if you connect so then you are going to burn your entire microcontroller like uh, Diwali crackers. So avoid such kind of a situation, what we will be doing, we will be using a level shifters or maybe a voltage divider circuit by using a resistor. If you know how to calculate the value of the resistor to divide this 12 voltage into a suitable voltage for your microcontroller, for example, 3.3 volt then it is going to very easy for you to connect this particular sensor output with this microcontroller because there is a voltage divider circuit by using resistors. That is how electronic circuits are designed with the help of resistors, capacitor and inductors. Of course, not to mention voltage and currents are the very essential part of every electronic circuit. Now with this knowledge, I believe you have understood what are the five fundamental basic elements of electronic industry. Resistor, capacitor, inductor, voltage and current. With this knowledge, I have a very fundamental question for you. Among voltage and current, which one is the dangerous? Do a small survey over the internet and comment your answer in the comment section. I am very glad to see your comment and answer if anything from your side. See you again in the next video. Until then, happy learning and Namaskaram.